Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul today. Um, Christmas stuff is out. I can't believe it. So I have a real problem with retail stores and Christmas because I really enjoy Thanksgiving. I like being able to just be with my family and like have a nice meal. And I feel like Thanksgiving always gets skipped. It's October for Halloween. And then as soon as that's over, Christmas stuff comes out if it's not already out beforehand. So I started buying Christmas stuff. Please excuse that. So the first thing I bought this year was a glitter drape of snow. And I have this idea that on top of my bookcase in my uh, living room, which does not hold books, by the way, for those of you who know that I really enjoy books, I want to make like a little Christmas village. So Christmas villages are super expensive in a lot of the stores. So I figured I'm going to start with just a Dollar Tree one, um, something cheap and easy. I get it. They're not the best. They're really tiny, but I'm also a little afraid of how my cat might react. Now, these ones do say that I could have battery operated tea lights in them and I'll show you that in the bottom. So this is the bakery and see there's like a spot to put your battery operated tea light. I'm probably not going to do that. So I got the bakery. I got their little church. I got the post office. I just got a little house. And then, those were all the buildings I could find. I don't know if Dollar Tree puts out more. I got two trees. And then I saw these ornaments and I thought it would kind of be cute to put them in the village. Although, it might be a little different. Like little campers. So I figured like, you know, well, that that's the bakery. But you know, the house, I could have like a little camper outside of it. Um, I thought it was really cute. I'm going to... I don't know, do it just to add a little bit more. Why I was there, I believe they did have, I want to say people and maybe benches, but I didn't buy that only because I'm not really sure how my cat's going to respond. I have a feeling she's going to try to get up on the bookcase to play with these. So I kind of wanted to be able to put it out first and not have any choking hazards um, for her. If I was there, um, I normally do customize uh, Christmas cards every year. Uh, we didn't really do anything exciting this year. I mean, we did go to Virginia Beach for vacation. Um, and I had a good time down there, but I'm not going to put myself like on a in a bathing suit on the cover of my Christmas card. So um, I saw these ones from the Dollar Tree. I really like these two, so I just picked up these two packs. We had season greetings with the holly. And it says, "'Tis the season for sharing good times with family and friends and for making the kind of memories to treasure without end." So, I like that one. And then I also got this one. Um, it was a Christmas tree with snow on it. A flocked Christmas tree, as everyone likes to say. Um, it says, "'Christmas wishes.'" And then on the inside it says, "'May your Christmas be filled with the magic and splendor of the holiday season. Merry Christmas.'" So, unfortunately, if I send cards to you, um, this year, you're just going to get generic cards from me. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all I really have to say. Um, I also got the candy cane wreath forms. I did get four of them. And I'm not actually going to make candy canes with them. But I saw on YouTube that people will connect them like this to make a big oval one. And then when the Dollar Tree gets those like long signs in it, that's how they make the wreath around the long signs. Um, so I did not take everything they had. Um, I probably left like 10 of them there. Because I don't know if there's going to be a lot of long signs I like. And I always find long signs and I'm like, I never buy them. Because like I was like, I can't put them in my wreaths. And they're kind of awkward to hang around the house. Because I don't have like a small area where I could put a long thing. Um, so then it just looks awkward. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a wreath of them. If I find one this year. And then the last thing that I did get at the Dollar Tree. Um, the Dollar Tree currently has these Pure Ice 2-pack nail polishes. Um, I've seen people hauling these, but I haven't seen this one. So this one is the bottom coat. That's this like pinkish one. And then this is a high shine top coat in the clear. 
Um, everyone else you'll see like on the top, they're like actual nail polish colors. So I use a lot of top coat. I've never used a bottom coat or a base coat. So I might try it to see if it helps um, my nail polish last longer. Um, but that's everything I got at this Dollar Tree haul. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye!